Okay, so in this part of the question then, we've got to find out where the curve C crosses the x-axis. And this will be when y equals 0. And we know from the previous part that y equaled this value. All right, 5 sine 2x plus 0.92729 and so on. I've written, by the way, this value for alpha in more digits. I haven't rounded it up. I haven't used the rounded up version from before because that's going to possibly lead to inaccuracies. So I would always recommend that you just leave that in its unrounded form. Okay, so when does this graph cross the x-axis? Well, it's going to be when the y-coordinate be 0. So when y equals 0, we've got that this will equal 0. Well, 5 can't be 0, so it must be that the sine of the bracket, 2x plus 0.92729 and so on, has got to equal 0. So to get to this angle, we need to inverse sine both sides. So we've got 2x plus 0.92729 and so on is going to equal the inverse sine of 0. So, what is the inverse sine of 0? Well, we're working in radians and we should know that from the sine graph, let's just call that theta say, and if we looked at the graph of y equals sine theta, we should know that we've got our usual wave looking something like this. But if we take it back on this side, it's going to look something like that. And uh, these are going to be key values, 0. This one, we're working in radians, so this is going to be pi. This is going to be 2 pi. Working backwards here, this is going to be minus pi, and this will be minus 2 pi. So where will sine of 0, sorry, where would this have a value of the inverse sine of 0. Well, the inverse sine of 0 then is going to be 0, pi, 2 pi, and minus pi, and minus 2 pi. We've got to be careful with this question though because we're given a range. We're given a range of values for x to be between and including minus pi to pi. And it's very tempting just to say the answer is 0. But we're not dealing with x, we're dealing with this angle here. 2x plus 0.92729 etc. So the range is going to change. So what I need to do is double this value of x and add 0.92729. But if I double that and add that value on, I've got to do it to this and to this to create a new range. So that new range then would be, I would double this, so that would be 2x plus 0.92 blah blah blah. I'll just cut that short for the moment purely because I'm going to not have much room here. I double the minus pi, so that's going to be minus 2 pi, and I would be adding 0.92 blah 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 and over this end I would double the pi there 2 pi and add 0.92 blah 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 so what does this mean well it means that as far as this angle goes 2x plus 0.92729 and so on well it's going to be equal to the inverse sine of 0 but it means that the angles that are going to be in range, well, it won't be that minus 2 pi because minus 2 pi plus 0.92, etc. is going to be a little bit further on from here. But I do need this angle here, minus pi. I need the 0. I need the pi. And looking ahead, we can have more than 2 pi. You can see here. So we can take that value there as 2 pi. All I need to do now then is just subtract 
this value from each one of these values here and that will leave me with 2x so 2x would be equal to well you'll need a calculator and if you do minus pi minus this 0.92 odd value you should end up with minus 4.0688 and so on do the same for each of these and you'll end up with minus 0.92729 and so on this one 2.2143 and so on and the last one here 2 pi take away this you should find you get 5.3558 and so on All right. now divide by 2 and remember all we need to do is give the results to two decimal places and so that's going to be minus 2.03 for the first one and the next one minus 0.46 and the next one 1.11 and 2.68 all these are given to two significant sorry two decimal places I should say okay so they did ask for the coordinates so therefore as for the coordinates we're going to have minus 2.03 comma 0 we're going to have minus 0 0.46 comma 0 and 1.11 comma 0 and finally 2.68 comma 0 these are all the points where the curve where the curve C crosses the x-axis. Alright? Okay, well I hope you've been able to follow that and uh, that brings us to the end of this part of the question.